What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be delivering a message to you directly from the universe. So I do believe the universe is using me as a messenger and a channeler to bring to you an impactful, powerful message. I do believe it is also meant to attract blessings and miracles into your life. So whatever this shift is, it is really going to pull you into a higher vibration so that you can attract some of those desires that you've been having in your heart so closely. So we are doing it a little bit differently. So the images all have different energy behind them. You can also choose the card deck if that's easier for you. But with the images it does give you a little bit of energy as far as what it is that you could be going through so whatever image you feel like you're being called to the most that message is most likely going to be for you so last but not least if you guys are looking for uncensored exclusive readings you can find that at the tarot chest and i have closed my personal reading so if anyone is reaching out to you regarding personal readings it is not me i no longer offer personal readings any longer because i am shifting into more of a group mentorship course every first sunday so if you guys are looking for that you can also find that down below all right so I am being used as a channeler to deliver this message to you, this high vibrational message in exchange of energy. Whichever deck or vision is being pulled to you is gonna be the message for you. So in the meantime, I will see you guys on the other side. Love and light. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading for a direct message from the universe. So if you guys were attracted to this image, I feel like out of all three images, you are the most evolved on your journey. All right, so even if you were attracted to the other decks, what I'm sensing with this image is that you are so multi-talented. You are so multi-diverse. Um, there's not just one thing, one experience that you are here to experience. You are constantly evolving. You are constantly shifting. You have a lot of intellectual ideas, a lot of desires that are coming to you. So out of all three decks, I was genuinely feeling like you are so centered around self in in the sense of self-love and self-desire this is really where the universe is bringing you back to is self yourself you are the answer to so many things there's so many things that you're going to be doing uh you're you're a multi-manifester which means there's not just one thing you're going to be manifesting all right so we have the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold we also have creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Once again, just confirmation that you are a manifester. We also have become a shapeshifter. So once again, there's not just one desire, one dream that you have. You are ever expanding. You are constantly growing, being even more in tune with the universe than ever before. Some of you are being able to even imagine more for yourself, being able to see the light in the world, seeing heaven on earth rather than uh, the destruction or the chaos because you have the power to create your reality. So what you're focusing on is what you're gonna choose to see. So I see that a lot of energy that you're, where you're coming from and what you've had to go through maybe was a good excuse to believe in failure and it not happening and it's like when you when you're around so much darkness it's it could be hard to see the light but for you you have remained so hopeful so optimistic on on something changing that something is actually changing and maybe you're not seeing it with your physical eye so i want to grab some tarot and see what this is about okay so you're learning your power you're so in tune with the universe, even if you didn't know you were. You are so in sync with the universe. You are a shapeshifter. You are creating everything. You're learning your power. You're learning that you're the one creating this, okay? You are my evolved group, basically, 
All right, we have deck two, we have deck three, but the energy that I'm really getting from deck one is that there is a evolution that's happening inside of you, okay? We have the 10 of wands, exactly. So this evolution is also um, applying pressure to, to certain events and, and things in your life that are just simply not adding up, all right? If you're not in love with them, if you do not enjoy it, if it is not in alignment with the heaven on earth, with, with the vision and the dream that you have, then you're to let it go. So I definitely see for you, there have been, you are just so different, deck one. You are not meant to be with so many people, okay? Because you do have abilities. Um, you're so different and it's meant to be that way. And so you're learning to embrace that. And because of that, many, many things are changing. There are endings occurring in your life with the 10 of wands. We have the page of pentacles. We have a career shift that's happening um, and not even a career shift, just you're shifting into a reality where you don't have to do so much for what you desire. Okay, letting the universe come in and we have the fool. So there is a leap that you're taking. You could have been going back and forth between another deck, but I am sensing that you're ready. So some of you could be really underestimating whether or not you're ready. The fool is here. Um, it's a very, it's a brand new start into something uh, that maybe you don't know. There's a lot of unknown -ness going on. You have no idea how this is going to happen, how this is going to create opportunities, this path. But what you're to focus on is the heaven on earth. You're focusing on the joy, the light in the world, no matter how dark it seems around you. You are such a light in this world. You have been through so much. And that enough should show you courage and strength and bravery that you do have. This has been... This has been a journey for you and who you're becoming. So you're becoming very innovative, new creation. So you're getting, you're creating a whole nother life for yourself in this moment. Deck one, you may not even see it. This is a whole nother life for yourself. And all that matters is your fulfillment and your joy. Some of you, there is a little bit of worry on how this is going to happen practically. Page of Pentacles, why are you here for deck one? The moon. Yeah, so you guys could be a Pisces. You do not have to be. But that's the first zodiac sign that I'm, I'm getting here. So there's confusion. There's confusion. And you might not know because some of you have never seen yourself do what you're getting ready to do. Some of you have yet to see yourself or imagine yourself doing what you're here to do. But in order for you to see just how much power you have, you must see that you're the shape shifter. So there will be things in your life you will have to shift. You will have to shape. You will have to mold. And in the process of doing that, you're cutting out, you're cutting out all of I want to say the fluff, I want to say the fat, I want to say the unnecessary burdens that you've been holding on to. Let's get another card for that. Yeah, so there's a lot of worry about practical success, how practical things are going to happen. But understand that even though you are desiring practical things, these practical things are really giving you fulfillment, a feeling behind this, a feeling of freedom, a feeling of joy, a feeling of expression, whatever that feeling is. So there is a lot that you don't know. There's a lot that you don't see. And what the universe wants you to know, well, let's just see what your future self wants you to know. Your journey is the blueprint that will help others. Once again, like I said, you are definitely my most evolved group out of the three, which means that you have been leaping, leaping, leaping spiritually. And it's because of this desire to know more. Well, this journey and this tunnel of darkness and everything that you're going to go through, the unknown with the moon, you're going to go through it because you're a leader. So as you go through it, you will come back and you will lead your family, you will lead your children, you will lead your friends, you will lead your tribe because you will have went through this. So understand you're not just going through this for yourself. You are figuring this out. Um, and once again, you're not even figuring it out. It's already figured out. 
<laughs> there's just so much deck one, okay? I wanted to say deck three, and, and that is usually my most evolved group, but once again, you're going first. There's a reason why you're drawn to number one. You're going first, the initiation, 11, 11, 11 o'clock on the, on the phone, okay? It is you going first because you're going to give the blueprint. People are gonna wanna know how you did it. They're gonna ask you. Um, however, what, what's happening right now is you're making room for new creations. You're very innovative. You desire to express it. You desire to create it in this life, in this world. And until you're doing that, you will feel a void of unfulfillment because you are not in alignment with who you truly are. And who you truly are is vigilant. You're a warrior, but you don't have to fight any longer. You don't have to fight is something that I'm hearing. Something very important about you don't have to fight. This is yours. So why is the be vigilant here? We have the king of cups. So it's like if you're going to fight, right? Because you don't have to fight. But if you're going to put energy and focus, let's, let's say energy and focus in motion. Choose what you're in love with. Choose what you love with the King of Cups because you have the strength to make it happen and you're making a lot of things happen that you don't really desire to experience. And I think it's because you don't know that you're, you're making this happen, okay? So I just see here Seven of Wands and Temperance, all right, and the Four of Cups. So what spirit is really saying is this is about your fulfillment and how you feel. Four of cups is a sense of unfulfillment. Anything in your life that is bringing unfulfillment, feeling free to detach yourself from it. There's something about newness. This, this is a whole new life that you're creating for yourself. You've never seen anything like this. All you can do is imagine. And even in that sense, you may be struggling to imagine more for yourself. All right, the biggest place that I'm seeing is just in your career with opportunities. How can you, um, what I'm seeing, the universe is saying is that we have Page of Pentacles, we have Ace of Pentacles. You're learning how to be successful without having to work so hard or having to make it happen. There's a sense of security, clarity, and happiness when you are in union in alignment with yourself, when you feel good with where you are, where you live, who you are, who you're being, what you're doing, what you're experiencing. And I'm just seeing there's a lot of unfulfillment that you are walking away from. Okay, future self message for deck one. It's going to require you to take a leap of faith with the full card here. But you're taking a leap of faith and I see a breakthrough happening. Trust that you are being guided on your journey. So if you're worried or stressed, this is a sign that you are not trusting that, that you're not doing it alone. Understand there's nothing for you to figure out that it is already figured out and you are being guided every day, every moment, every second, every, every um, awareness, every consciousness second that you're aware you're guided, you're connected to infinite knowledge. So once again, you are being called to some of these places that seem impossible because you are working with the universe. So to you, to your, yourself, you may see, you may think that it is impossible. And so that's something that is shifting in your life is believing and the impossible, and you don't even have to believe. All you have to do is align. Align and follow the universe. Even if you don't, even if you truly don't believe, even if you truly don't believe the universe is that great, that you will still see signs, you will still see miracles. So I'm sensing being patient with yourself also. So you're being guided on this journey and that's why you're more evolved. You're not doing it alone. You're letting the universe in. Okay, this is where the reconciliation with yourself, temperance, Sagittarius energy, stop trying to do it by yourself, stop trying to figure it out, 
It is already figured out. This is where you have to trust and have faith that now you're just seeing the signs of it. Healing the heart, power of self-love. That was exactly what I was feeling earlier. There's something about getting back to self. Being happy and joyful by yourself is very powerful, very peaceful, to not need anything or anyone to feel fulfilled, to feel happy, grateful, to be alive. Your energy is so potent, meaning who you're around can be affected. Remember, we are vibrational beings. The universe is a vibrational universe. So your vibration is very important. What affects your vibration here is other people's energy, your lack of fulfillment, whether that's you giving and not receiving, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the unfulfillment is coming from. It's nothing personal. It's either unfulfillment or it's fulfilled, fulfilling you. And it just seems like you're pouring into a lot and these cups have holes in them. So it's not, it's not feeling like you're getting much in return for what you're doing. And that is a sign that you are trying to make this happen. And once again, as you're being called on this spiritual journey, temperance in the fool card and the initiation, it sometimes takes situations like this for us to see our power. So the universe allows or, or uses our circumstances to show us the strength and the power that we do have. So there's more understanding spiritually that you're learning, but you're coming up as a leader. You could even be the oldest, the first to do this, a pioneer, um, the first to look into this unknown door, okay? So there might not be much support around you, but the biggest support that you only need is the support of the universe. Your life experience will be the blueprint to empower others. Once again, this is part of your purpose. Your purpose is to feel fulfilled in this life without needing anything. It's kind of giving me guru vibes, but modern guru. Um, there's, there's like this knowledge and knowing that you deeply, deeply want to know. And because of this, you will find out. You will know the truth. And all you will have is excitement and inspiration to share with others because you'll realize it's so easy, the universe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> your, your whole journey is going to be a perspective that inspires so many people, all right? So this is, this is big. Don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable, okay? Some of you are only looking to a certain service, or a certain energy that you've exchanged all your life, whether that is, you know, finding that your time is valuable, finding that this is valuable, but, but there's more value in what you have that you're overlooking, all right? And this value is connected to value, which is abundance, money, valuable things. So that's a huge shift that's happening. The universe wants, like, wants you to know that there is opportunities coming but for you to to imagine it enough to embrace this new reality of this opportunity not knowing where it's coming from just releasing it and allow it to come to you because it's not going to come from the same place right because you you have already experienced those so this is coming from an unknown place so you will not see it coming which it doesn't you know it doesn't matter as long as it comes and that's where you're having faith is it doesn't matter how it gets to me as long as it gets to me and it will trust that it will that's the the biggest message that i'm getting for you deck number one anything else from the universe that they're here for a reason that you really want them to know your creativity flows best when you're having fun so when you're having fun when you are in a very very uplifting joyful energy ideas will come very naturally to you so natural so being, having fun, once again, is part of a vibration. You're in such a high vibration that things are just happening so naturally. So don't overlook your vibration and how you feel. It's the most important thing. It's, it's creating everything around you. So obviously, this is a very deep message for you guys if you're here. If you're looking for more deep messages, you can find that at I'mReadyToWakeUp.com. There's 
tons of educational content that I post on there very frequently about the soul journey. I do believe once again, you are taking the soul journey. You are here to live your dream. You are here to experience the impossible. So yes, guess what? You're going to attract people who will doubt. Guess what the impossible attracts, right? So as you continue to do it, it's more important for you to see that it's possible, yourself to see that it's possible. And that's what this is all about. And so you are, you are very, very powerful, very, very powerful. And you are here to manifest multiple, multiple experiences, not just one. And so your life will, is meant to be ever fulfilling. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your message directly from the universe. I hope that this inspired you, brought clarity to you. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading for a message directly from the universe. If you guys were drawn to this image, the first word that came to my mind was untouchable. So let's just see what that's about. We have be honest, see the truth, courage, strength, forceness, fierceness, and family. All right. And I also want to get one card from your future self to set the theme for why you're here. Deck two is here for a reason. What do you want them to know directly from your future self? If you are here, this is your message. Don't overlook what you know. Some of you are waking up to inner wisdom. This inner wisdom is making you untouchable as you trust it. Do not rely so much on your physical eyes to see, for that could be very deceiving. Your reality is simply a reflection of your inner world. Meaning, if you focus so much on your reality, it's like looking at your shadow. You'll go crazy because the shadow is the result of you moving. <laughs> this is deep. What's going on here? Okay, we do have the owl. All right, there is deeper wisdom that the universe really wants you to tap into. You have a knowing, an inner knowing that you could be simply overlooking is what I'm getting, uh, uh, overlooking. I'm not really getting avoiding, but really being honest, seeing the truth, having the courage to see the truth, having the courage to speak your truth, not overlooking what you know by waiting for something tragic to happen for you to say, I knew that was going to happen. You already know this before it happens. Trust it is what I'm getting. You could be a Leo. You don't have to be. But you are definitely coming up as a high priest. You could have been drawn to deck one. Spirit also wants you to know that each day you should feel the exhilaration of being alive. So each day you should be waking up with the excitement. And we all know what it feels like Christmas morning, right? So each day should feel like Christmas. That should be the goal. Not because it's a goal, but because it's a desire. If we had it our way, every day would be a vacation if we truly had it our way. But see, we have to be honest with ourselves, not just settling because we don't think we can have more for ourselves. So you have to be honest with your desires and don't justify them. Even if you think they're too big, there's no such thing. This planet is too small for us. <laughs> Go look at how big the planet is in comparison to the universe. Expanding is what I'm hearing expand expand deck two you're expanding trusting seeing it this truth makes you untouchable which is crazy because you're walking on the planets and they're they're definitely bringing me to like go look at how how big this planet is it's not very big <laughs> compared to this whole entire galaxy etc two of swords okay we have a decision that has to be made. Decisions. If you are here, deck two. Two usually means two, two different decisions. We have one decision here. We have a decision on the other side. 
okay? So it seems to be we have two decisions and they're based on career. Some of it could be based on a, a connection that's connected to stability or business or something, okay? And then we have the Ace of Wands. You are manifesting a new beginning for yourself. You are learning masculine energy. Masculine energy is being a leader, being assertive, not waiting for someone, um, being the one to be able to provide for more than just yourself. The emperor is very stable. All right, so there's something about being the pilot of your own plane, taking, taking charge of your destiny, understanding that you're creating this. You're making this happen. All right, so we have the two of swords. We have the five of pentacles, all right? So we have some fear here around lack. What is this about? Wheel of fortune, all right? So some of you, let's get the king of wands, why this is here in reverse for deck two. All right, so spirit is saying if you choose, some of you don't know which, what, what to make, what decision to make. You're learning how to trust yourself. It's, it's almost like universe is saying you're in this situation because it's almost like training you, training your third eye, training your discernment to use that more. That's why her eyes are blinded. Remember I said don't rely on your physical eyes. All right, some of you have passions that you love to do but you don't see how it would work. Spirit is saying with patience and time, your money tree will grow. Following what you love to do with the king of wands here, but the king of wands is in reverse because you're still learning how to have this passion for yourself, this drive for yourself, the emperor, uh, wanting it for you, and then understanding that after you comes the overflow of others. Some of you could be putting others before yourself for very few of you, um, but in order to become the king of wands, it's like, yes, you have passion, but you have to have confidence to go after these passions. That's where the Aries energy comes in. You could be an Aries. You don't have to be or have that in your chart. The emperor, that's you becoming the one who is going forward towards what it is that you love. And as you do that and nurture it, your money tree will grow. But with the five of pentacles, you, Spirit is saying no matter what decision you make, it's still going to lead you back to fortune because you're meant to attract more in your life. And the way you're attracting more is through your passions. Why is this Ace of Wands here for deck two? Okay, it's your dreams, the things that you don't think are, that you don't think are possible. Seven of Cups, fantasy world. It's Spirit is saying it's not a fantasy, but because you can't see it as a plan, practically, you could be avoiding it. All right? Nothing is practical. So that's something that you're really shifting out of, getting out of that practical, shifting more into spiritual. Let's see what this is about. Pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So I'm getting that all of these circumstances that you find yourself going through are really to reflect back in you who you are, the strength that you have. And the more that you see the light in the good in the world, your vibration will continue to rise. Understand you and the universe are vibrationally influenced. It's not strategy. It's not one plus one equals two. It's not going to make sense. Vibration doesn't even make sense. It's, it's a chemistry of so many things, your thoughts, your beliefs, your feelings, that all make up this chemistry of your vibration. So how you feel matters. So if you don't feel good about something because you don't have it, then once again, you don't feel good about it. How can you feel good about some of these desires without seeing it physically? That's because, you, and, and if you can feel that goodness, you will know it's here. You will know it's obtainable. It is, it's bound to happen. All right, so we have earth magic, fearlessness, removing obstacles. Yeah, once again. So there's many, many, many gifts that you have. 
and you're able to see them more when you go through obstacles. It brings awareness, a revelation of the strength that you do have. Uh, it's like you're learning your capacity through your tragedy, through your circumstances. You're learning your strength. You're learning your courage. You're learning to see the truth because that is what's going to bring you freedom. Not to be afraid of the truth, but to embrace the truth. Leap, you go first. The universe will catch you. So once again, now that you know and, and you guys are learning more and more, and that's kind of where you are, is the universe is simply saying that see the truth, be honest with yourself. You have the gift of inner wisdom, the gift of knowing, and you're here to experience the exhilaration of being alive every day. As I mentioned, Christmas every day. What would that feel like? What would that look like? And allow your imagination to give you the answers to the life that you're here to live. And once again, this is getting deep. We have the owl here. We have third eye. This isn't surface level things, but you've been focusing so much on surface level things, practical things, which is just the result of how you feel. So we're going above it is what we're doing. So spirit is saying now it's time to act as if. Act as if you are the greatest. Act as if you are abundant. Act as if and allow, allow your reality to shift. There's something about a leap of faith here. Focusing more of your attention and energy on your passions, what you're passionate about, what you're in love with, what you love doing and nurturing that more. And yes, it's gonna take a little bit of time because of Seven of Pentacles, but look, it's a promising money tree. What is the rush here? There's an adventure that your higher self is desiring to take. The universe is desiring to set you on. Um, it may feel like it's taking a risk. It may feel like it's a wish. However, you are meant to, it's like this ad adventure doing something differently is meant to shift your vibration. Do something differently, do something exhilarating, something new to really break out of this energy. So you're going to be embracing the energy of adventure, freedom, without worry um, from a childlike perspective, not worrying about how it's going to get done, but trusting that it will. There's something about faith here that's really required for this next leap in your life, trusting in something greater than yourself that is making this happen. Message directly from future self to the person that is watching. Text message, you have the power to transcend pain. So your story is a little, a little bit different. Okay, you've went through certain things um, from a different perspective that maybe you will share with others. Uh, but what it did teach you is once again is that you had the power to transcend it. You're still here. So without transcending many of that, would you have known your power? So once again, the universe is using some of these circumstances that you may find yourself in to just do what? Show you your power once again. Show you that you can do this. Let's see what's to come for deck two. Nine of swords. Okay, worry and stress are signs that you are not trusting the universe, that you believe you have to make it happen. Worry and stress are two indicators that your ego, your mind is freaking out. Can't see it. Worried. Which once again, if you knew who you were and what you were connected to. And even then, as humans, we have um, different worries and different stresses is what it appears to be. But all of this is to show you that you have the power to transcend it once again. So um, this is just indicating that spirit desires to be closer um, to you. Universe desires to be closer to you as more of a guide, as more as a, a, of a leader in your life. 
And when you have this connection, you will understand you're not doing it alone. You're not doing this alone. And in order to do this, you really have to embrace feminine energy, being open, receptive to other guidance than yourself and your thoughts or from people, but from a higher, higher, higher place that we call the universe source in God, the higher awareness that we don't know what to call, but we can feel it there. That connection is very important for you so that you do not live your entire life or journey in this energy. It, it's meant to be in a journey and an adventure. Okay, you are untouchable. You're learning your power. And pretty soon you're going to be floating. And then you'll get the hang of it and you'll feel this exhilaration. You'll say, oh my gosh, this feels so good. And then it'll be about maintaining it. And then the journey has begun. Deck two. Clarity on the chariot, reverse. So there's a hold right now. There's a delay, okay? The chariot, cancer, energy. Something is delayed right now, and that is because of your uncertainty of what you desire. So if you're wondering why things feel, maybe they feel stagnant or you're unsure or you're in a place where nothing's really moving forward, nothing's really moving backwards, that is because it's almost like the universe is waiting for your order for you to put your order in of what you truly desire. And what you truly desire, not what you tolerate, not what you do because it does this and X, Y, Z. What you truly desire, Six of Cups, what's dearest to your heart. Some of you will have to go back to childhood memories of what you used to do when you were in love and it wasn't about a career and it wasn't about a job. It was about what brought you happiness and felt good and fulfilling. Okay, so really getting in tune with that version of yourself is necessary for you to understand what you truly desire so that it could move forward. Some of you have yet to, to um, imagine some of this because maybe you, you thought that you had to make it happen. So imagining it, you know, was felt impossible because you're just trying to survive or you're just trying to figure it out. And that's the thing is that there's nothing for you to figure out. You must trust that it is already figured out. And I really don't know who, how many people are really telling you this truth is that it's already figured out. We are just in the way of it. So this requires more trust, more faith in something higher than yourself. You're not here to do this alone. Message directly from future self to deck two. If you're lacking confidence, you've lost sight of who you are. That's literally what I was saying. So emperor energy, all about confidence. If, you're lo if you've lost it, you've lost sight of who you are. You cannot know who you are and lack confidence. Imagine being the greatest of all time and the world knows it, but you're lacking confidence. Then you don't know who you are. You're the greatest of all time. For some reason, I'm saying that. I don't know why. You're the greatest of all time. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to receive that belief and walk in it. Because there, there's so much power behind all of what you've went through. And I'm hearing you're not meant to suffer. You're not meant to live life like this. You're meant to live as if every day was a holiday. This is, this is the frequency. And you could have definitely been drawn to deck one because it's giving heaven on earth vibes. But for you, that seems so out of reach in this energy. And that's why I feel like deck one is where you're, you're headed next. So let's get some last messages from your future self as to why you're here and what you need to hear. Share your ideas with others. You have ideas that will blossom into something but because you don't see it, because you know our ego, our mind doesn't see the plan and how it's gonna work and how it's gonna equate, we don't even look in there. But that's what you're learning is that it's your passions that will feel themselves. They will create themselves into this world and all you have to do is be open to receiving and, and creating them by sharing them with others. Sharing your ideas is just a simple way you don't even have to create anything. It's just you sharing your ideas is creating something new into this world. So don't overlook your power. Deck number two is what I'm getting. If you guys were drawn to deck number two, 
and you want more enlightened content, check out imreadytowakeup.com or thetarotchest.com for more information and insight into your enlightened journey. In the meantime, I'm going to be moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and message directly from the universe. I'm already getting messages. There's something really, really important about taking care of yourself, uh, deck three, and being aware of your body and your surroundings. There's something about the energy that you're walking into. Lots of, a lot of uh, connections, networking, there's a lot of energies around you. When I look at the photo in, the, in deck three, I really feel like you have an empathic ability to connect with a lot of people. But it's most important that you're grounded and you're solid because it's affecting who you're attracting. All right? Let your emotions flow. Yeah, you're coming up as an empath. All right? You're coming up as someone who... Um, is it desires to connect, all right? There's a lot of groundedness that's required here. So taking care of yourself is going to be very important. So the universe literally has brought you here to say, are you resting? Are you drinking enough water? Are you taking care of yourself? Something about water is very important. You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You don't have to be. You can have it in your chart. Either way, specifically, it just means that it's really a message for you water is very important okay so just think about your sign and water is very very important to how you feel how your body feels and there's so much chemistry around how you feel so you have to be aware of when you come around certain people um, when you go to certain places if you don't like if you feel that tight feeling in your chest around a certain person all right, you have to trust that it's not about being triggered. See, triggered is in your ego, right? That's in your head. That's like a fume. But when you feel hurt or you feel like your chest is getting tight, you're learning the communication of the universe, communication of yourself, of your emotions. What do they mean? And not to overlook them, but to embrace them. It's a superpower. It really is, but if you don't know how to use it or turn it on, turn it off, it could feel overwhelming. But the, the worst thing you can do is turn, the, turn yourself off to them because it is a very important sensor. I do believe you have an advantage. So how you feel is attracting your environment. Look at this, the circle of eternal joy. And it's crazy because when you look at the image, it, it's you as that solid circle, but we have a bunch of little circles around you. And we have a circle of eternal joy, all right? And we have open connections, 100%. All of your connections are changing. You are inviting more connections into your space. Loving connections that bring, that bring out the joy in your heart. That feel the joy in your heart that make you feel so good that you're vibrating around others. Because if you don't feel good, it's like you're not charged. So how can you bring this to others? So you are uh, connected to joy. Spirit is definitely saying your joy is the most important thing and you don't need anyone to create this spark of joy. All right, this is a really, really huge shift in your life um, when it comes to connections very 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 big when it comes to connections in your heart space your heart chakra is being open it's being triggered at this time all right do not close your heart off but remain open we also have show that you care so some of you um, could have connections around you where maybe you've been neglecting them because you've been focused on other connections and you're just now getting to this place where you're realizing who truly cares and who's not just saying that let's get the current energy for deck three okay you're it's like who you're surrounded by will only amplify so that's what i'm hearing for you current energy four of swords not enough rest right off the board not enough rest trying to rest more 
trying to rest more, taking care of yourself. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Magician. And we have the Five of Wands. All right, so with the Eight of Swords, it's like it's important for you to rest also so that you're getting clarity. It's important that you are aware so that you can see clearly, so that you're not foggy. All right, let's just see why this King of Pentacles is here. The devil. All right, so some of you are breaking free from something that you've been relying on, someone that you've been relying on. It's important that you see that you can do this yourself. Um... You're also learning how to see this from a higher perspective. It's not so much about the material things as much as it about how these things make you feel. So even if you have a home, a dream home, or a dream car, or something that you really desire, being with a specific person, it's about the energy. It's not really the house. It's not the car. It's not the person. It's how it makes you feel. So I do see that there is like learning independence, learning independence on your own with the devil away from the king of pentacles. Why else is this here? Okay, freeing yourself from dependency on anything except for the universe. If you can learn to be this dependent on the universe, you will be living in the internal joy of life, dancing timelessly. You're the magician. But in order for you to manifest, you have to be, you have to feel good. You have to be in joy. So some of these situations, you're sticking to them, but they're not bringing you joy. So it's like you have to compromise your joy to stay in them because they provide X, Y, and Z. That's what I mean by the codependency of it. So it's like with the eight of swords, the king of pentacles, and the devil, it's really about releasing yourself, freeing yourself from something that you believe is bringing you stability. But you have to believe in yourself more than that job, that person, et cetera, et cetera, of why you're tolerating um, staying in this energy. Okay, yeah, you're coming up as the queen of pentacles, coming up as judgment. So there's, there's something about seeing yourself independently because I just see that you have to compromise a lot of how you feel because of practical decisions. For instance, very few of you, you could be roommating with someone because it's cheaper, but it's really not energetically. So that's what I mean by like, what do you truly desire? So, so once again, like that's just one example. Like we think it's cheaper, but energetically it's costly. You are coming up as someone who is energetically, how you energetically work. You're relying on something, not realizing you're the queen of pentacles. All right, so that means that you're abundant. You don't need anything, but the judgment is here. You don't see this just yet. You don't see this within yourself just yet. And so what you're, the universe has brought you here to tell you is the 10 of cups. You deserve to be happy with the right person in the right relationship that, is, that you're in love with that you're dreaming about. Okay, I'm going off, I'm going off. So if this, re I'm hoping that this resonates with you guys because there's, there's so many situations here um, with you, deck number three. And I think it's just your inner, your emotions are everywhere um, just with s decisions and people and things that you have to make. Um, and so I'm just sensing that one, you deserve to be in a relationship that, that you're in love with. Like you're in love with this person, you're thinking about them, you're dreaming about them. Um, it's not about the practical. It's about how you feel. There's no point of staying into a situation. You don't get that feeling, but it's practically secure. That's what I'm saying. It's costly energetically and emotionally, right? So judgment, there's, there's more for you to learn here. There's more for you to learn here about what you're here to truly experience. We have the empress here. All right. So could be pregnant in a sense. You deserve 
You deserve to be in love with life, with you, and then with another. Your perspective on life will be admired. You need no reason to be worthy of abundance. You have these beliefs that I have to do this to be worthy of this. For me to make a lot of money, I have to do this. Or I have to work overtime. I have to do this. That's only one possibility. Understand there are more than, just for our spectrum, there's more than 10,000 possibilities. There's more than 100,000. I don't want to just say infinite because I don't think you guys realize just how big infinite really is. That means it can happen, period. If it's infinite, that means like it has to happen. Like there's infinite ways. How can it not? It cannot if we only focus on one way. We only focus our energy and attention on one way. The biggest thing for you is once again, how you feel. Because if you don't feel worthy, how can you attract it? How can you attract it? How can you hold on to it? How can you embrace it? Not just attract it. Some of you could attract it, but not receive it because you pushed it away because you don't feel like you're worthy of it without even acknowledging or, or having the awareness that you've done it. But you will do it and your perspective on life will be admired by others because there's a specific way you're doing it. But the biggest thing is your heart, how you feel. So if feeling worthy, what does it feel like to feel worthy of what you're asking for? You're asking not just for an abundance in finances, but in love. Some of you already have it or it's at your door, but you have to be open to let go of all of these cups that were not giving you that fulfilling fulfillment, whether it's because they were giving you practice. It doesn't matter what they were doing if you were not feeling fulfilled. So there's a lot of changes that I'm seeing happening, but your emotions are actually helping you make these decisions. You have a gift of feeling, but once again, you must know, know more about this. What you are going through is only temporary from the universe. It's very temporary. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? We have two mothers here. Some of you could be pregnant. Some of you guys could be birthing out um a new project a new some of you it's just a new life a lot of you you could be a mother father um but once again it's crazy how can you mother yourself self-care love yourself how you love that other person how you love your children if you have them love yourself all right so once again this usually is a page a child okay um but some of you this is a path that you are forging for yourself The more you love yourself, the more you will love doing things for yourself, which is also helping you. Devotion, yeah, find what you're devoted to. Tune into the portal of your heart, what you're in love with. What are you in love with? What are you so devoted to that you would want to mother it, all right? And right now, I just see that it is a pit stop. It is a bit of a pit stop. And a lot of this, I do feel like some of you are waiting on some of these desires to happen, but you should be acting as if they already happened because it's already here. You are the magician. I see you becoming stable. I see you becoming more independent. I see you becoming more confident in yourself being able to do it without dependency of anything or anyone else. You are able to do this. Message from the universe for deck three. What's coming in the near future for deck three? Yeah, you're walking away from some things, um, but it's not about walking away as much as it is walking towards. You don't know exactly what's in the door, but you know that it's going to bring you more fulfillment than you've been experiencing. The universe is saying that it is communicating with you through signs and numbers. Could specifically be 555. We have 555, 555. So fives, fifth dimension, all right? Seeing beyond the 3D. 3D is everything we can taste, touch, hear, smell, you know, the five senses. You're going above those five senses. Spirit wants you to go above them. There's magic and there's power when you go above 
the five senses. So some of these feelings that you are even feeling, they go beyond the five senses and even to understand that. So you are walking towards the light. And what can you expect? Deck three, what can deck three expect? I'm being led to this deck. What wishes are you granting for deck three? They're moving towards something, music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in music that you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. So many of you are manifesting through music. So you could definitely be a Pisces or a water sign once again. So with this, this just means that the universe is communicating through signs, numbers and music. So if you're feeling a certain type of way, you shuffle a song and a song comes on. Most of the time, this is going to be a message from the universe. So I see that um, once again, joy, how you feel, feelings, music affect how you feel. So everything for you is feeling, 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 feeling. And all that you could and should focus on is what feels good, what, what feels good. In this case, you are releasing yourself from things that make you feel good because you're safe and content, which is 3D. Um, but are you feeling happy, fulfilled? Are you feeling expanded? Are you feeling uh, inspired? So you are gonna be meeting people is what I'm getting. You're gonna be meeting a few people here very soon that are going to come in and reflect who you're becoming. So they, they can consider themselves empaths. They can already be into zodiac astrology, very in tune with their emotions. They could be a water sign. You guys could both. Um, they don't have to be, but they could be the same sign as you, okay? We do have Earth energy as well, so Taurus, Virgo, Virgo Capricorn. There is some of that, um, but I'm mainly seeing water and um, air signs here. What else is coming for deck three? Okay. We have Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Once again, this is the unknown. You're walking away from what was no longer fulfilling, all of these cups being spilled. You tried all of this and you're here now. So you're venturing into the unknown, but it says yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So you making a decision to move forward in your vibration and actually mean it, and actually mean it, you will feel the shift. So you have to really be honest and, and feel, the sh feel like you really, really desire this new change in your life or these new connections in your life. Because you are coming up as the magician, it's just that you are conflicted within. There we go. Come together, friendship and moderation. Let's break these down. Okay, so once again, even your image, it looks like a web of connections. So you are coming together with friends. You are coming together with friends who are really embodying and reflecting who you're becoming. They all do light work, meaning they're, they're connected, they're interested, they're aware, they have stories to share. Working as a team help gets the job done. So I'm definitely seeing that you are coming together with a team who sees your vision, sees your dreams, sees your passions. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So these people are a part of fulfilling your dreams. They're coming in as fairy support, okay? The last thing I would say for you, deck three, is they're really, I, it's crazy because I did not see any of these cards before I turned them over. And I'm getting the rest card. I'm getting the self-love card. I'm getting the self-care card. And now we have try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that, say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So it says, is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? So once again, it's something about how you feel. What you eat affects how you feel. Therefore, it's important to you. So getting staying closer to what color obviously you see the color here green if you can stay closer to green or plant-based um foods you're staying closer to nature and this is what i'm getting just eating nature eating life 
okay? Because it's going to make you feel good. There's something about nature, eating more of nature, okay? To stay grounded, to feel good because it's a part of your vibration. So everything in moderation and to be aware of that because it is affecting how you feel. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling drained, if you're not feeling as excited, it is about to take, imagine, imagine that you are finally living your dreams, but you don't feel good, you're sick, or you don't feel good. That is not a good feeling at all. Remember, your body is a very important part of this experience for you to even experience it. Body, mind, soul, all as one. And so for some reason, they're bringing this to you, deck number three. So if you guys were drawn to this, it is definitely caring for yourself. Show that you care for yourself you caring for yourself, caring for others, and it, it can only show others how to do the same. So if you guys were attracted to deck number three, this is your message. If you're looking for uncensored exclusive content, you can find more videos at thetarotchest.com. In the meantime, you guys will be seeing me very soon. Happy holidays. Until then, happy new year. Love and light.